Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm with Miss Sabine Gassa from foodbn.nl and she is going to show us how to make chicken cashew from Thailand. Hi, uh, my name is Sabine and I'm uh, from the Netherlands and um, well, I've lived in Thailand for a while so uh, I became uh, not an expert in Thai cooking but I can uh, cook, cook very good, <laughs> yes. So, and uh, I, I work at uh, Smell Lab and my uh, own food blog is Food by Bean uh, and I post a lot of uh, Asian food on Food by Bean but also a lot of delicious yes. pastas, Italian food, Mexican food and uh, yeah, those yes, are Yes, we found each other via Instagram so yeah. I found her and we connected so as you know guys life in the Netherlands is all about foodies, chefs, cooks and yeah. enthusiasts and who can teach us something and so guys let's get cooking well of course we use cashew yes uh, some chicken but it's over there so guys we have uh, some cashew nuts here so this is salted or unsalted it doesn't unsalted. matter okay it doesn't yeah, matter yeah it actually doesn't matter because if you use salted you don't put that much salt, salt in the dish okay but i use also yeah, i always use unsalted, unsalted. okay and um, sorry some buttercrust yes um, some spring onions, uh, lemon, uh, coriander. It's very important in Thai cuisine. Yeah, I just like it. And um, some ginger. ginger and chili. Chili, of course, to make it a little bit spicy. Um, here we have the sauces, some sweet soy sauce, uh, oyster sauce, really important. Yes. Uh, a little bit of fish sauce. Yes. Uh, chicken stock. And I it's for the garden. Fried onions, I always love it. With, yes. Uh, and then what's our protein? Of course, was our chicken. You prefer juicy. chicken thai? Yeah, I prefer chicken thai because it's more tender and it's juicy. Juicy. Okay. And I just because some people it. also like uh, chicken breast, so it doesn't really make a difference, or it no. make a difference. If you like chicken breast more, you can use chicken breast. breast. Uh, well, this is a very easy uh, recipe and it's yeah. especially for those people. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you are going to chop it in very big pieces. Okay. And uh, it also depends on your liking if it's small or big. Yeah, but I like it in uh, because the sauce is going to make it softer. Yeah. So uh, I like it in like this okay. uh, pieces. Okay. Uh, and you can still see the fetch. Yes. Um, so I wanted to do something more with food because yeah. in Thailand I sold uh, cakes and caramel cookies, the Dutch uh, apples. Oh really? That's yeah. interesting. So I made them in Thailand. Okay. And um, well, I just wanted to continue to uh, to do more with food. Okay. And before that, I had studied dietitian and uh, nutrition. Okay. And. Uh, but I never wanted to be a chef book. Okay. So yeah, that's chef. Chef. <laughs> You're correct. Chef cook. Chef. In Dutch it's chef cook. Yeah. Really? In English it's but it's okay. I understand yeah. it. My mom, um, she's adopted, so she was like uh, when she raised us, she was uh, also going a little bit back to her roots and okay. Mediterranean food, but. She also is a yoga teacher, so okay. she includes a lot of Indian food as well. Okay. Uh, Ayurvedic. Okay. Uh, oh, Ayurvedic, yeah, I yeah, about it. Kitchen and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So I ate like the whole world when That's I was That's so young. cool. So it's not like so, you're not a typical have a Dutch palate. No, but she made a lot of pasta, I think, because she has four children. It's, sometimes it's easy to... Yeah, that's so just whip it up a sauce and yeah. that's it. And, and, and I remember especially like some days I came back from school and uh, for lunch she made me those uh, tortellini with sweet tomato sauce oh. it was absolutely uh, okay delicious. so that's a memory of your mother like what is like yeah. is that the, your favorite dish that like it's really like stuck in your memory when you were growing yeah, up I cannot make it myself <laughs> I just yeah, yeah because you're thinking like mama's food is better than yeah. you I don't believe but, that uh, I think I'm better than my mom <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> So guys, she chopped uh, chilies. Uh, this is a combination of a um, ginger. I'm like, I'm, I'm switching that garlic and ginger, spring onions, and then we also have our vegetables here: red bell pepper and an onion. So we're gonna uh, chop up the chicken, slice the chicken, and then show us 
how they do it in Thailand. So we will cook the chicken because then it becomes juicier and all the yeah, juices will stay inside. And so we will cut the, the chicken pieces, the chicken thighs according to your liking. Maybe just a quarter, maybe a centimeter, maybe a thumb size. Well, I'm a fan of small web and I'm also a fan of you, so I was kind of like stalking you by Instagram. I was like, who is this girl singing and uh, the moving along of small web? Mm -hmm. So they told me like, yeah, it's Sabina. So because I also have some uh, food, food blogger friends and say so like mm -hmm. Sabina was doing the small web. Yeah. So, well, uh, I designed some recipes for them and I make videos about it yeah. like we're doing now. I also make recipes for the small web magazine. Okay. And uh, for example, like this Christmas, I have made three recipes okay. with Brussels sprouts. Like oh, yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. <laughs> you should tag me in your Instagram. So I will, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll repost you. Yeah, and um, so yeah, that's basically what I do. And then social media and um, yeah. So guys, the recipe of this cashew chicken is in your uh, website. Food by Bean Dan and L, and I will also put it on my website www.seskitchen.com. And everything now is prepared, so now we're ready to rock and roll, and let's get cracking to cooking. We just cooked some rice, and uh, Sabina told me that we're gonna start to fry off the cashew nuts. Yes. It needs to be hot because uh, if you cook it too long in the oil, they will it will like sponge. Oh really? I didn't know that. Uh, if it's soaked, like they're, they're usually, soaked. yeah, usually if I fry some like anything nuts, I don't put oil in it. No, no, I just like that, like like uh, make uh, like frying up a sesame sesame seed. Yes. I leave the to cool. the, the, the cooking moist and the, the oil in yeah. inside. Yeah. So then, then at least the the oil has this like uh, infused with the nut. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. yes. So we have the chicken over here. Yes. So Sabina um, coated the chicken thighs with flour and a little bit of uh, chicken powder. Okay. And the reason why I do this is because I, when I coat them, they get they still um, so remain juicy just, okay. inside. So now we're putting on the heat again, mm -hmm. and we're gonna fry off the chicken. Yes. I love this that I'm not the one who's cooking. <laughs> and I'm doing it by fork because um, I don't want them to be all closer. Yeah, okay. Or else it's gonna get, it, it tends to like, get moist. Yeah. So one by one, so don't overcrowd the pan. How did you like found out that you want to cook and you know how to cook and you have a talent for it? Uh, well, I just really love to eat. So okay. I had to. And or else uh, nobody will gonna do it for us, for you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, my mom did, but uh, she has four children, so I couldn't come home and said, "Well, mama, mama, mama. I'm ready." <laughs> no, I can. No, I don't smell the chicken. I can smell the the infuse of the cashew nut oil. oil. Yes. Okay. So the chicken is done. So we're then gonna we transfer it yes. to. We're gonna transfer the chicken on the plate. We're gonna fry up the bell pepper. The bell pepper and then the onions. Yeah. So we need to cook this very fast in a high heat. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, that's the tossing action. <laughs> and we're going to throw in the garlic okay. and the chili, uh, chili. The chili, uh, the garlic, and everything. the ginger. So we're gonna add uh, only the. Um, so we're gonna, we gonna throw our aromatics, that's the ginger and then garlic and chili and some of the spring onions. Yeah, but not all the spring onions. For the garnish. Yeah. Your kitchen should smell amazing right now. And if they're watching fine people, yeah. Don't hate me because I'm not sure if they use ketchup mayonnaise or... Yeah, this is like Malaysian thing, right? The ketchup yeah, mayonnaise. or in Indonesia. Yeah. Don't worry. I saw that there's some oyster sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So, put in some ketchup mayonnaise. So that's about roughly uh, two to three tablespoons, okay? Yeah. And the oyster sauce, one bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And some fish sauce. Yes, fish sauce to taste. 
and all this Asian product is widely available in an Asian stores worldwide, I believe. Yeah. some lime in, not yeah. lemon, li li lime. Yeah, sorry. Citrus. Citrus? Uh, citrus. Uh, limon. 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 <laughs> because I really like a little bit of sour yeah. in my... Uh, and most of the Thai cooking is also as a, a bit of sour. Yeah. And if you want the sauce to become a little bit thicker, you can add some flour. Or cornstarch can be as well. My thing, yeah. yeah, cornstarch. But I just like flour because it's it works really fast. Yeah. The concert you need to put it with the water. Yeah. Okay. I can smell now. I'm getting hungry. And we're going to put in the chicken. So now we're going to put back the chicken. All of it. And mix it with the sauce and vegetables. If you don't have enough sauce, you can add some more sauce, I think. Maybe some more lime and of course cashew nuts. Yes, so let's not forget the cashew nuts. Yes, it's almost getting there. Mm. Excited. So now guys, our cashew chicken is finished and ready yes. to eat. So we're gonna plate it up. So we have my go on